And the next thing we want to do is start to do a little more annotation, some tagging, etc. Let's go back to our main floor. And what we're going to do is go to annotate on the top and we'll say tag by category. And we'll hover over here and click on there and it says there is no tag uh, loaded for walls. Oh, that's right. We should be, I don't want to do a wall tag right away. Let's go up to our second floor and tag the beams up there. Um, tag by category. If I hover over here, it says that's a W460. So I'm just going to say no leader line. I'm going to hover over these beams. Okay, and Revit's going to place those lovely tags in there for me. Notice it if you use your tab key, it's finding the brace as well as the... Um, the beam that's in there. Grab this guy in here. And tab to grab that guy. And tab to grab the guy underneath. Escape, escape, so we can take the steel angle tag and move that off to the side and leave the beam tag underneath. Um, let's go back to our tag by category. Now we can tag all these guys one at a time, but I think if we hover over the beam system, let, let us tag that beam system all at once. No. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go in and just click on these guys. Now, I think when you place the original beam system, it gives you a prompt to tag um, tag all on placement. Okay, and That can definitely speed you up so you don't have to go through and tag all these guys. So I'm just going to go continue tagging these, and I'll come back when we're done. And just about done. Escape, escape. Now, if any one of these um, escape, escape members actually change, the tag will update, as you would know. Okay, so we can move these guys around, nudge them around a little bit. Okay, I would say probably while I'm at it, let's go up to the roof and let's go in and tag all these guys as well. Um, tag by category. I'm just checking some of the other tags that are available here. Tag by category, here we go. I'll tune you back in when I'm just about done. Now I'm part way through tagging these manually, and I know that you can place a beam system tag when, um, when the beam system is actually placed. And we can also use the nice new beam annotation, place multiple tags, annotations, spot elevations all at once. So this is really going to speed things up. But just as we go, I'm going to click on this beam system here and I'm going to delete it. You can know when you have the beam system, it shows you the dash lines. I'm going to recreate that beam system. And as I do it, I'm going to say place tag on placement and it's going to use a beam system tag and I will let's say I go this way okay same span direction it's going to put that same beam system in there using that 12k1 but now it's tagging it as a beam system instead of me going around and doing individuals hit escape escape once I have one of these in the drawing I can click on there and say create similar and I can hover over here and it will um, add that same thing beam system tag over there pan down a little bit and pick on this beam system and then add a tag on there as well so beam system tags can also be placed rather than doing individual
And we also have this wonderful new beam tagging um, annotation tool. So I'm just going to pick on this guy and delete it. I'm going to pick on this guy and delete it. Let's grab all the tags. I'm going to just do a window box. Okay, do a filter. And check none and say all structural framing tags, structural beam system tags, just the tags. I'm going to take those guys and delete them. Now I'm going to use this beautiful new tool here, beam annotation. And in here I get to specify, you know, which tag I want to use whether I want to tag each end of the beam as well as the center. And also, um, if slope beams are in plan, we also want to see the, the beam elevation because we do have a slope beam over in this area. So that's all good. We like it and we just hit OK and it basically goes and tags all our beams, which is really nice. And you can see with the slope guys, it's giving us our elevation at the top and bottom of those slopes. When they're not sloped, it just puts the tag in like that. So the new um, beam annotation tag comes in very handy. Again, we started out doing manual um, tagging of those beams, but we can use our nice annotation tag in here, speed things up quite nicely. Back to our 3D view. You don't see the tags in the 3D view, but of course, as we're modifying this, meanwhile, back in here in our floor plans, our roof and our second floor plan at least, we're going to see all those tags propagate up um, into our nice sheet views.